Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venom Man 20 here. You read that title right. We now think that the cure to COVID could quite possibly be in the deadliest snake in all of the Americas, Venom. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So the research just came out that the Inferno Lance or the Lance Headed Pit Viper might just hold the cure to COVID-19. So we're going to talk about that. But the species of Fertilance or Lance-Headed Pit Viper that actually might hold this cure is called Bothrops Jeraka Sioux, which I don't have one of those. But I have quite a few other Lance-Headed Pit Vipers that I'm going to be showing you while I talk about the discovery that was made. But first, let's go ahead and get acquainted to this genus of venomous snakes. These are considered to be the deadliest of all the venomous snakes in the Americas, as far as a genus, as far as a whole. So 300 to 400 people die a year from this venomous snake species. It is speculated at least. Even if you don't die, you could easily have long-term brain damage, kidney damage, liver damage. Uh, you could easily lose a limb from the necrosis, from the hemo and cytotoxic venom. It's just nothing you wanna get bit by. But a lot of people think that venom flowing through your body is kind of like a freight train. It's just going everywhere and screwing a lot of stuff up. But that's not true. The proteins and peptides and enzymes all have a specific job to do. So therefore, if we can isolate those using things like a centrifuge, which spins it and the uh, proteins with the high molecular weight sink to the bottom, so then we can actually take those out and use those for different kinds of medication and the lighter ones float to the top so we can use those for what they're intended for. Like for instance, there is one of these species that have already saved many, many people. That is Bothrop which in 1973, it was discovered that it had an ACE inhibitor in its venom. And this actually drops blood pressure in people. So in 1980, it was actually released in the pharmacological community uh, as a medicine uh, called Captopril, which it is said that about 100 million people suffer from high blood pressure in the United States. Endearing their treatment, more than likely at some point they will be put on that medication. So that snake's venom could possibly save 100 million people. It's one of the top 20 medications of all time. It is valued at more money than what Jeff Bezos is worth right now. So that's crazy. Venom can be used for a lot of amazing things, like for instance, possibly treating COVID-19. So if you think you might have heard about Fertilance or Lance-headed pit vipers before, that's because there's actually some common ones like the Fertilance or the Golden Lance Head from Snake Island is pretty notorious, but it's a pretty big genus of snakes. Some of them can get up to like eight feet long and all of them have a pretty terrifying venom. But like I said, it can be used for good. So let's go ahead and put him away before he gets too perturbed because he's rattling at that tail, warning me that he wants to go up. So sorry, bud, I'm sorry for stressing you out. We're in Brazil, Bothrops Jeraka Sioux is known by many common names, such as Jeraka Cacu and many others. Jeraka Sioux is found in coastal Brazil, Paraguay, southeastern Bolivia, and northeastern Argentina. The venom contains cytotoxins, hemotoxins, and myotoxins. Brazilian researchers have found that a molecule in the venom of this type of snake has slowed down the reproduction of coronavirus in monkey cells by 75%. A molecule is composed of a chain of amino acids called a peptide. This chain is able to connect to the coronavirus enzyme. This enzyme is primarily responsible for reproducing the virus. The peptide inhibited the enzyme without causing harm to other cells. Now, as you may already know, many venom peptides are known to possess antibacterial properties. These peptides can be manipulated and synthesized in a laboratory. In other words, we 
can make this peptide without the need to harvest it from the snakes themselves. They are still conducting research to see if the molecule can prevent the virus from entering human cells in the first place, which would essentially mean that the venom molecule would work as a post-infection treatment, but can also be used to prevent infection. Now, of course, this is not the first time that venom has been looked at for medical implications. Pronesterides represent the major player in the local inflammatory response induced by venom from Bothrop snakes, so therefore the venom could hold the secrets when it comes to illness brought on by inflammation. Jiraracasu venom has also been looked at and is looking promising for the treatment of nerve pain. Plus, don't forget the high blood pressure medication we spoke on earlier. The paper noting these findings will be listed in the link in the description. Lastly, please do not book your flight to Brazil to self-administer snake venom. That is not how all this works. But if you insist on doing something dumb, please subscribe to my YouTube channel first before you try to become a Spartan and we get to refer to you as one of the 300.